Good evening to everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello yes. there. All right. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let's start another English class. This is Teacher Rodrigo. And today it is Friday, November 3rd. Friday, November 3rd. Okay. So welcome to everyone and let get let let's get started. All right. Well, uh, I hope you rest yesterday and I hope you did all the activities uh, that you had scheduled for yesterday in family or with the people that you love. So we're gonna start. So in the previous class, we had we studied the conditional number two. Also, in the previous class, we started um, the present perfect, if I'm not wrong, uh, conditional number one, conditional number two. Okay. So today, and also we discussed these questions in the previous class. For example, what does your business product do? What problem do you solve for your customers? Who are your three main competitors, direct or indirect. What is the pr primary message to message message to want to convey to your customer? What are five adjectives or words that best describe your company? Okay, those are the questions that we discussed in the previous class. Okay, so today we're going to have this conversation, and it says. Re, um, it says identify the brand components of well-known national brands. Okay, and here we have this question to begin. What happened? What happened when a brand doesn't meet doesn't meet doesn't meet uh customers expectation is a is a weak brand a good investment what happens when a brand doesn't meet customer expectation okay what happened when a brand doesn't meet customers' expect expectation? Okay, well, let's go straight to the conversation. Um, and it says, What's, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make your float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customer buy. It regardless of a price. Maybe they really make your faster. Okay. Uh, the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair, a pair to see what all the foos is about one more time watch this tv ad they are selling shoes that can make your float like a feather <laughs> they are very popular at work i would never get a pair of those they are too expensive i wouldn't either but a brand that delivers what it promise makes customer buy it regardless of price maybe they really make your faster the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I would buy a pair of a pair to see what all this booze is about. Okay, one more time. Watch this TV ad. 
they are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promised makes customer buy, irregardless of price. Maybe they are really make they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is a sure is good because they get all those people to buy their shoes. I think I would buy a pair of, to see what Il Le Fus is about. Okay, is there any question with the pronunciation uh, or the pronunciation or the meaning of any word? How do you pronounce uh, it's feather or feather? Feather. 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 Okay, one more time. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes you customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the shoes is about. What is the meaning of shoes? It is like, um, like the expectation or the trend that the people have for, for any idea or a product. Okay, thank you. Like people are very expecting. It is like, how, how can I explain this? Do you like a scandal? Do you get what the scandal is? Yes. Candle. Okay, so it's a synonym. Who's candle? Okay. Thank you. Okay, one more time, one more time. It says, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promised makes customers buy, regardless of price. Maybe they are really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I would buy a pair to see what all this foods is about. Okay. Um, do you know what TV ad is? I 
Anuncio de televisión. Exactly. It is like advertisement. It is like the contraction. All right, also we have, well, this is a verb, selling. The infinitive form is sell. Uh, ah, how about float, like a feather? Do you know what feather is? Pluma. Exactly. Float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never, I would never get a pair a pair of those. I would never get a pair of those. And they are too expensive. They are too expensive. Um, what is the opposite? What is the antonym of expensive? What is the opposite? The opposite of expensive. Cheap. Cheap, exactly. Cheap. Tell me two things that are very expensive for you nowadays. Cheap. Two things that are expensive. Hello? Two things that are, are you, very expensive. I you I I use shoes cheap. Or you ship, you ship. wear you wear or you buy uh, comprar I or wear. usar. Um usar uh, es en inglés sería wear y comprar es buy. I buy. I okay, buy. buy. Uh shoes cheap. Ah, la, la otra forma. Primero el adjetivo y después la palabra. Ah, Una okay. vez más. I buy. I buy cheap ah, shoes. Cheap, cheap shoes. Ok. Shoes or sí. sneakers. Sneakers okay. son como tenis. Y shoes es como más, creo que casual podríamos llamarlo. Ok. One more time is. I buy. I buy um, cheap shoes. Ok, cheap shoes. Ahora negativo. I don't buy expensive shoes. I don't buy expensive shoes. Okay, good. All right. Well, thank you. I get a okay. pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. What is either? Well, in English, eh, para decir yo tampoco, esto se utiliza de una forma negativa. En ocasiones cometemos el error de decir I, I don't too, podría ser. Y tú es, significa también, pero eh, se utiliza en la forma positiva. En either se utiliza en la forma negativa. Significa que no lo hace tampoco. tampoco. I wouldn't either. Either es para negación. Negativo. Yo tampoco. Por ejemplo, yo no voy eh, los sábados a trabajar. I don't go to work on Saturday. I don't go neither. Yo tampoco voy. No, no va a decir, I don't go to. En ese caso sería, neither. Or either. Either. También se puede decir, either. Va a depender de, de donde lo utilicen. Either or either. I wouldn't either. Ok. Delivers. What it promise makes customer buy. It regardless. Does anybody know the meaning of the word regardless? Mm. 
independientemente. Exacto, independientemente, a pesar de... Muy bien. Ok, continuamos. Regardless of price, maybe they are really make you faster. ¿Qué significa la palabra faster? Rápido. Rápido, pero faster. Porque uno es fast, pero otro es faster. Más rápido. Más rápido, muy bien. Faster and fast. Y si decimos the fastest, ¿qué sería ahí? The fastest. Lo más rápido. El más rápido o la más. más... Exacto. Lo más rápido, muy bien. Very good. Um, the marketing department sure is a good because they... Get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all this food is about. Okay. Uh, look at the conversation and complete the sentence below. Um, a brand that delivers what it promises. This... What is the compliment here? Makes. Makes. Makes customer, customer. buy it. Okay, makes. Hace que. Hace. Hacer. Makes. Good. Uh, they. Get. Get all these people. People. Ellos consiguen. Aquí el verbo get. Quizás es, get es uno de los verbos que se puede utilizar o puede tener diferentes significados. Uno de ellos en este sentido es consiguen que. Ellos consiguen que todas estas personas compren. ¿okay? Conseguir get. También tenemos que get significa entender, llegar. Um, más get. Eh, llegar, conseguir. Bueno, y un montón de usos que tiene el verbo get. Eh, al igual que el verbo set. Bueno. Eh, do you agree with the first statement discussed with a partner? Do you agree with the first statement discussed with a par the partner? A brand that delivers what it promises makes, custom makes customer buy it. Okay. Well, so what we're going to do? We're going, as usual, we're going to practice the conversation with our classmate, and we're going to discuss uh, these statements, the first statement with our classmate. Okay. Okay. Let's start.
eyes like no no it's a uh Hola, hola. Yeah. Va, le damos. Sí. Se va a iniciar. What, what this TV app? They are selling shoes that can make you float like, feather, like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. But I brand that delivers. What what is promise promise make customer buy? It has regard. Regardless. 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 Regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing, de the marketing department sure is good because they get all they all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Yes. Watch this TV ID. Huh. They, are sell, they are selling shoes that can make you float. You float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't eh, either, but a brand that either. delivers. Either. I wouldn't either, uh -huh. buy, but, but a brand. But. 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 What? I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what is promised make customers buy it regardless of price maybe they really make you faster the marketing department sure is cool because they get all these pe people to buy their shoes i think i will buy a pair to see what all the food is about ¿Quién es más esta? Only you two and me. Wow. Hoy tomaron vacaciones. Éramos cuatro. Se salieron. Y con usted, teacher, cinco. Pues salieron. Va, pues sigamos, Rosy. Bye. Hoy music. What, what is, what this TV ad? They are selling shoes that can make you float like feather they are very popular at work i would never get a pair of those they are too expensive teacher uh, tell me, tell me. Word, those or toes uh, which one those. i would never get a pair of those 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 those, those. is that this if those, this is singular and those is plural and the object is far away. Okay, those. Mm -hmm. those. This. I will never get a pair of those. Uh, those. Exactly, those. Okay. I wouldn't oh. either, but apparent that delivers what is promised. Make customer buy. It regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair 
to see what all the fuss is about. Okay. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I would either. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers. What is promise make customers? I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but around that deliver what I what it promise may customer buy at reg regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. to do anything else. Uh, okay. Very busy your day tomorrow. Yes, I have to I have work uh, to do tomorrow and I need to get this ready. Do you work only in the morning? Half I'm sorry? Time. Do you work only half time? Only part time. Half. Medio tiempo. Only eight to twelve or all day? Ah, uh, tomorrow. Um... Tomorrow, I think it's almost all day because we are going to uh, start at 5 a.m. In, in the morning and we will finish uh, around 2 or 3 p.m. Um, okay. Yes. So I think it's, it's all outside of it. Okay. But it promises make it. Customer buy at regardless of price, maybe they really make you faster. In the marketing department, it sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all this food is about. ¿Quién me va a practicar? Sí, sí, dámelo otra vez. Ok. Está medio trabalengua. ¿Con quién? ¿Usted con quién? Vaya, vaya, practicamos nosotros entonces. Vale. Vale. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feeder. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers what it promised make customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. And the marketing department sure is good because they get all that can <laughs> make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers. What is promise make customer buy? It's regardless of price. 
maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. Shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Let's switch. You start, please. Okay. Watch, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I could never get a pair of those. Of those. those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't e either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy, buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure of is cool because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy the apparel to see what Al the foos is about. I think we have to do any other um, exercise or just just uh, practice the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, second part. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, la conversación era yes or that is sure? Así es, mister. Okay. Teacher, you have any observation about the pronunciation? About what? I'm sorry? Pronunciation. Not really, you are doing great. Okay, thank you. Maybe fuzz just tiny. Like I'm fuzz sorry? Is, fuzz is, it's like a, a scandal, right? Fuzz, exactly. Okay. It is scandal. Fuzz. What are you saying? Teacher, I'm sorry I, I interrupt you. Maybe just like tiny mistakes, but tiny. Like okay. the pronunciation of the end of the word, the ED the ED pronunciation, the the S at the end of some words, but those are like tiny, tiny mistakes. Like like where, teacher? I, I need like regardless. Of... Regardless. Okay. Makes um, shoes um, promises the uh, S at to, the end. Okay, we have to make the S sound more. Yeah, the thing is that when we talk in Spanish, when we speak in Spanish, we usually we usually don't pronounce the end of the word. No. <laughs> and so we and but in English it's totally different because if you don't pronounce the end of the word, um, it might be different, something different. So in English it's very important to pronounce the end of the word like but b o t but. If you say but, means something else. That's why we need to practice the end, the pronunciation even at the end of the word, like like about about who's is about so if you don't pronounce the the t about. about it's something different but if you say about, about. okay um, so you, we need to practice when we read we need to uh, pronounce even the end of the word and you will sound different and much better Thank you, teacher, for these observations. Compañero, <laughs> classmate, <laughs> Manuel, do you want to try again with these observations? Okay, <laughs> let me know. 
But if we want, we can try. I'm going to be Andrea and you Vincent. Vincent. Or Vicent. I'm, I'm not sure, but anyway. Vincent. Vincent, right? Yeah, I, I, okay. I think so. Okay, let's try. I'm going to be Andrea. Okay. I'll watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customer buy. Buy it, irregardless of price. Maybe they are really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy to buy their shoes. Mm -hmm. I think I will buy a pair to see. I'm sorry, again. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. about. <laughs> Excellent. You see, <laughs> we commonly forget to pronounce, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. We need to, that's why we have this kind of activity to practice and remember through through reading, we can improve our pronunciation, the fluency, because we are practicing our tongue and our lips. Because when we speak in Spanish, we use different muscles rather than in Spanish. For example, in English, you need to, well, you have to open more, more your mouth. You yeah. use <laughs> the position of your tongue is different. different. For example, you put yeah. it in the... Uh, lower teeth and sometimes behind your your upper teeth so we we use different I muscles think, yeah i think in spanish we use more the lips mm -hmm. than the tongue yeah tongue. even in spanish in english we use like sounds like nasal sounds nasal yeah. sounds um yeah <laughs> so that's why we need to practice to get used to okay but time is over time is over okay time is over for the practicing okay teacher okay my friends okay i hope you practice with your classmates the conversation okay in if you have any doubt about the pronunciation of any word, I'm going to read it again. Any tests? Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers what it promises makes, makes customers buy, buy it, regardless of price. Maybe they are there. They really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all they get all those people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all this fuss is about. Okay, let's see. Let me, Sandra, ready. Yes, Sergio. Okay, and Miss, how about Miss Jessica? Are you ready? No, she's not. Miss Cecilia? I work with Jessica. Ready. Oh. Hello? Hello. Are you ready? <laughs> Hello. Yes. Okay, Miss Sandra, she will be Andrea, and Miss Cecilia is uh, Vincent. Yeah, I guess that is the pronunciation. Ready? Yes. Okay, let's get started, please. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. Mm -hmm. very I popular. will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promise make customer promises. buy it. Promises. Promises. Promises makes customer buy it, regardless of price. 
Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department, sure, is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the food is about. Excellent. About. Betty, about. 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 Excellent. Okay. Uh, promises. promises, right? Promises. 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 Because promise, promises, promise. No, I guess promise. it doesn't exist. Okay. Um, okay. Then we have... No, it's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Miss Rosibel, are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, you yes. are Andrea. And Miss Jessica, are you ready? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, and you are Vincent. Vincent, okay. Ready, okay, let's start, Miss Rossi. Three, two, okay. one, action. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float. Like a feather, they are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't either but a brand that delivers what is promises make customers buy it regardless of price maybe they really make you faster the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes I think I will buy a, pa a pair to see what all the fuss is about about <laughs> about okay very good good all right what it or what it okay when you read it when you read it fast it says or when you read quick what it what it promises or what it, what it what it promises exactly or what it what it, it depends on your speed um let me see ah something that i want to emphasize with all of you okay for example the pronunciation of v okay it, this is very okay you put your upper teeth in your lower lips okay with a tiny vibration you say very very very. Because if you put your both lips together and you say berry, that's the fruit, right? Berry, like blackberry. Yeah. And this is very, very, very. Good. okay, with a tiny vibration, very popular. Very popular. Pa, pa, that is like explosion, popular. Very popular. 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 Exactly. And you can you can you can see teacher you can see a uh, a song of the ay, el mago de Oz se me olvidó el nombre uh -huh. the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> exactly. Uh, eh, that that has this this the popular uh, popular word. Exactly. Uh -huh. And you can practice with that the pronunciation exactly. mm -hmm. through music. You can practice. Tons of tons of words. Okay, for example, there is a song that it has this. And when I read the conversation, it made me to remind that song, Feather. It is Crip, something like that, if I'm not wrong. Crip. It's a so you can through music you can practice your pronunciation. I'm sorry, correction is uh, from the weekend, the musical. From the weekend, the yeah, weekend. because the Mago de Oz they sing in Spanish. Yeah. Um, Am I right? Yeah. Okay. No, it's yeah. a diff It's like a prequel of. Is the story of the, the Western witch. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I share it in, in the group? Sure. The song. Yeah. Is this Thank you. Well. Okay, I don't know if we have more volunteers to read the conversation. 
Me, teacher. Thank you. You are Andrea, and I need someone for Vincent. Sure. Thank you. Me is Concepcion. All right, let's start. Three to one action. Watch this DVR. Uh, they are selling shoes that can make you flow like a feather. They are very popular at work. To never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what is promised make customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Okay, good. Okay, one more time, like expensive, expensive. 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 Okay, also makes, because it has an S, and sometimes we forget the end of the word, makes. Makes. Makes customer buy, okay? Makes customer buy. All right. Okay. Ah, this. Okay, this. These, okay. You put this. your, you have to, the TH, the TH sound. Yes, I guess these. Ah, okay. You gotta put your your tongue, your tongue, la lengua, behind, mm -hmm. behind your uh, upper teeth. Lo tienes de arriba. This. this. Okay. Y con una pequeña vibración. These. This. These. This. This. These. 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 No estoy seguro si es que no. These. Puede ser también abajo de los dientes de, de arriba. These. These. Mm -hmm. This. These. Porque está this, pero está el, el sonido de la, de la I es un poco más corto. This y está this. 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 Okay. All right, well, I don't know if we got another volunteer to practice as Andrea, to read the Andrea's lines. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss uh, Karen, <laughs> if I'm not wrong. And one for v Vincent. Me, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Manuel. All right. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes. Oh, teacher, can you move there? <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. They are selling shoes that can make your plot like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. Of those. They are, they are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises make customers buy is regardless of price. Maybe they are really make you faster. The marketing department sure is cool because they get all they all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all all the force as is about is about excellent thank you very much for your participation all of you remember uh, through the practice through the readings we can improve our pronunciation and the fluency as well okay um let's continue 
with the with the class all right and now we have a look at the examples in the box then complete the exercise below okay here uh, we have the difference between make and get the difference between make and get also uh, because these two verbs are very similar also we have the difference different between make and take get and set but today we're going to go over the difference between make and get and maybe you are you might be wondering how we can know the difference between make and get well let me tell you that you will learn this memorizing <laughs> you got to you have to memorize it Okay, and practice as much as possible. Read it, read examples, read examples, and try to use them. Okay, the marketing department makes employees revise uh, goals and metrics every month. The poor um, identity or identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. The brand experience offered by Samsung may consumers prefer their mobile phones. Okay. Uh, I can get customer to love our premium services. The project manager said it's not possible to get all those uh, customer to feel identified with the brand in a short time. The advertising event will get people to order product, products online more often. Okay. Bueno, el, no está muy difícil la diferencia entre make y get. Make es, podrías, podríamos tomarlo como hacer. Hacer pero no de construir, porque para construir tenemos el, el verbo build, hacer. Y eh, get podríamos conseguir o tratar de entenderlo con la equivalencia de conseguir, get, okay, en los diferentes contextos. Sin embargo, tenemos que recordar la regla de la tercera persona, de las terceras personas, en el singular de la forma afirmativa del presente simple. Por ejemplo, cuando tenemos que agregar S o S los verbos. Por ejemplo, customer's attention makes. ¿Okay? ¿Cuándo vamos a agregarle S o S los verbos? Cuando es tercera persona. ¿Okay? En el presente simple, en la forma afirmativa. Entonces, vamos a ir rellenando el ejercicio 5. El ejercicio 5. Ok, con make or get. Ok. There we go.
Ahí viene el tío. Finish. Porque le pregunté. Yay. Ay. Yes. Where is it? It doesn't work, my microphone. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. Good. Okay. Do you do the exercise? Yes, teacher. Excellent. But we have a question. Tell me. On tell me. The tell me. sentence number two. Number two. Marketing yeah. helps business. Yeah, that's the third person or not. Marketing helps business. Mm. No, get. No. Okay. Because I'm gonna tell you why. Get because it has it, it says marketing helps. So you already apply the rule. And we only apply the rule to the first verb. In this case, the first verb it is help. Helps. Okay. Helps business get. And the rest is okay. I'm sorry. Good. The rest. The rest. Let me see. Uh, okay. Customers' attention makes companies try every short sort of a strategy. The sort it is like kind, kind of. Uh, marketing helps. Marketing helps business get customer to buy a product. Okay. We can make people like our product without the right strategy we can make people okay like it's okay online stores get their loyal customer to help customer help hmm. online stores get their loyal customer to help with advertising event event very good the marketing director makes people vote for the best ads Good. Top businesses. Mm. That is plural. Top business. Plural. Make. So it's only make. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in the primera teacher, in, in, tell me, tell customers' me. attention makes companies. Customer, All these in plurals. Uh, number one, customer yes. attention. The thing it is that the customer, let me see, attention but it refers how can i say it, the attention it is in singular the s in that in that in that word it is the possessive la atención la atención de los eh, eh, ah, okay. de los clientes de los clientes mm -hmm. pero si dijera customers ahí sí Pero ya habla solo de una atención. Okay, you are done. Yes. Let me see. I'm going to check it out. The just one group left, and then we're going to come back. Okay. Entonces, Hello. Are you done? Hello, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Right. But we have a question, teacher. Tell me, tell me. About get, you use the uh, two and the verb. The 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 word two and the verb. Get. For example, marketing helps business. I'm going to share the screen. Okay. Uh, tell me. And in the example, say if the advertising events will get people to order. And then in the in the sentence, is marketing help businesses? 
get customers to buy products. To buy, mm -hmm. to buy products. Always mm -hmm. use to, teacher, when you use get. Mm, let me see. To get the thing over there, it is the verb to buy, right? So mm -hmm. if uh, um, I can tell you that always that we use the verb get, we have to use to with a verb because it will depends on the context. But here, yeah, you have to use to, to buy, a comprar. Esa preposición to significa a comprar, to buy. For example, uh, let me see another, the marketing director, uh, make people vote. Por ejemplo, ahí no, no utilizamos to vote. People vote. No. Tell me, tell me. My the vote is duda, verdad? <laughs> this one, vote. No, eh, duda is. No. How do you say duda, teacher? Doubt. My uh, doubt. doubt. Oh, my, my doubt question. is for the is for the example uh, up in the in in the example uh, at the beginning of the page. No, Here. no, no. No teacher. Under. And the, this, yes. All the all the sentences have two. Mm -hmm. With which purpose? With where? With Make get. or get? With get. I no, can get, get customer to love. Mm -hmm. the, those customer to get all those customer to feel. Ah, exactly. Here it says, yeah, my bad. The advertising event will get people to order. The advertising, but here you don't have to use. Only in the number two and the number four is. But here, with get. Uh -huh. but here, this one, right? No, the two and the four is with get teacher. The uh, okay. another is with mm -hmm. make. Yeah, like I said, uh, when we use, for example, here, you have to use the preposition to, right? To get customer to buy. And number two, online stores get their loyal customer to help. Customer help with advertising. Here it depends on the verb to get, but also the preposition here means like a ayudar, a comprar. Esa a es sustituida por la preposición to. To. Exactly. Okay. However, a eh, with the verb make, we don't use the preposition to vote in the second verb. For example, the marketing director make, makes people vote for the best ads. I guess it's with the verb just get in the context, the context of the sentence. Okay, but we're gonna keep practicing the the use of get and make. Okay, let me see. Okay, uh, we're gonna work on the extras in the next exercise. Exercise, you finished this one, right? Am I right? 
Did you finish this? Yes. Okay, so yes. we're gonna work on the building vocabulary. Brand. Finished. Ah, you finished too. Yeah, you're super fast. Yes. Cool. Excellent. Okay. All right. I don't know if someone or if someone can share screen to see the result, please. Can anybody share a screen to see the exercise number five? Yeah, fine. Me teacher. Thank you, Miss. Exercise five. All right. Excellent. Let me see to help to get to make. Excellent. All right. Marketing helps business get customer to buy products. We can make people like our product without the right strategy. Online stores get their loyal customer to help with advertising events. The marketing director makes people vote for the best ads. Top business make their employees take constant training on marketing. Very good. Excellent. And thank you very much for your participation. All right. Can you, I don't know if you did exercise six. Did you, I don't know if you did exercise six. Only one group, I guess me is. Miss no, Sandra's, Miss Sandra's group did it. Yes. Ah, you didn't do it. Yes. Okay, some only some of you. Okay. Uh, well, I will give you about two minutes to do this exercise. Some of you already did it, but I'm gonna give you a chance for the rest of the group to finish the exercise number six. Okay. There we go. Not only exercise six.
Ah, different, yes. different. Yes, but it's different. Different. Ah, ya la vimos a Sandrita la Buena para dar lengua. pistas ahí. <laughs> different. <laughs> different. Thank you. Okay, That's good. Pues. Diferente, diferente. No, no es esa. Diferente. Who is that? That's who is. Diferentación. Diferentación. No, no, porque tiene un montón de. Es pieza para qué. <ríe> tiene un montón de dolor sí. de cabeza. Dice. Ven. Ven. Aren. Ren, ta, ta, tion, ta, tion. No, porque revisen, algo le hace falta. Es W. Tiene que ver cuántas, cuántas, o, oh, una. Tiene. Sí, una. ¿Qué tiene dos? Una. Y, y tiene que tener, tener dos. Y tiene dos. ¿Dos qué? Dos. dos, dos. T tiene que tener dos. D falta entonces. Diferente. No, ahí está. <risa> Ay, no. Esa es. Sexy. Esa es. Es que yo me quiebro la cabeza armando mm. palabras. Then, di, dos ti, tres ti tiene que tener, mire, ve. Y, ¿De dónde saca las dos otras? Y tres, tal vez, de, tres y dice usted. Tiene que tener tres T. ¿Qué fijaron? La primera, la segunda y la tercera. Yo no veo la primera, solo veo dos T. Hay tres. Pero, ah, es que ¿Sí? quizás la, ajá, ah. Solo que le pongamos tion, tion. <ríe> no. Espérenme, espérenme un ratito, voy a ir a hacer algo, ya ven. Hello. Uh, do you finish exercise six now? Hello. Did you finish the exercise number six? Okay. Brand, brand, what is the here? What is the unscramble? Identity. Identity. Excellent. Brand identity, the way people recognize the brand. It might be through the logo or the other associated visuals. Brand, number two, brand. Image. Image. Brand image. image, the idea of the brand that people develop in their minds and what they expect from the brand. Number three, the brand. Personality. Personality, excellent. That was a little bit tricky. Personality is the emotion or personal quality that customers associate with a particular brand. Okay, a combination of everything that customer goes through, through while purchasing and using that brand. Experience. Experience. Okay, brand, hmm, this is quite long. Differentiation. Differentiation. Differenci differentiation. This is how a brand stands out in a crowd. In a crowd. Very good. Can well, you repeat it again, please. Different. 
Okay, and I get on time now. Now, differentiation. Differentiation. Yes. Differentiation. Okay, thank you. All right, excellent. Well, in the previous classes, I guess we need we have still time to practice uh, one of the structures that we study in the previous class. Well, now we study already situation two, situation, I'm sorry, one and two. But now let's see if we can identify the which with um which one it is, which condition is, depending on the context. Okay, I'm going to share with you the link in case you want to do it with me. We're gonna work together, together. Okay, here you have the link if you want to work on it. Okay, it says, Number one, first of all, we need to identify if it is conditional one or conditional two. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb in brackets. It says, it is missing just one part. So based on the second part, we could identify if it is conditional one or conditional two. It says, if I well, the, the compliment says, I'll take him your news. I tell him your news. So based on the context, can you identify what situation is, if it is one or two? If I see John, All right. I will tell him your news. All right, excellent. Me, Sandra, if I see John, I tell him your news. Very good. Number two, the context says to next Monday, you next, well, here the clue it is next Monday. So it is not a hypothetical situation. It refers to future. When do we use the future? In which condition? Go. Oh. Okay, if you go mm -hmm, to the town next Monday, you meet you will. Would is for second. You, you will. You will. You will meet. Meet. Meet, okay. Meet, sorry. You will meet. You will meet my brother. Excellent. If you need, my father i'm sorry if you if you need help my father in help excellent okay. we'll help you number 4 we will have it says we a picnic we lunch have. if the, if the day is fine one more time we have. We'll have we will or have. would have. We will have. We will have a picnic lunch if the day is fine. Okay. Number five. Uh, will I will finish? I'm sorry. I will finish. I will finish. Finish. I will finish the job tomorrow if I. Okay. If I can. All right. I will need an umbrella if I won't need an umbrella if it doesn't rain. Okay. Doesn't rain. Doesn't rain. Doesn't rain. That's excellent. That's not rain. 
I won't need an umbrella if it doesn't or does not rain. Okay, good. So far, so good. Number six, I won't need an umbrella. Okay, I'm sorry, number seven, if they catch the bus now, they? They will arrive at half past nine. Um, he would find the answers if he Look. looks or looked in past. Look. 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 No. Like this? Like this? Or like this? Easy. Like Easy. Okay. Easy. Very good. This is second condition because we are using wood. He will find the answer if he look, if he look at the back of the book. All right. Number nine. If he It doesn't specify. It doesn't give a lot of it doesn't give enough context, but I guess it is first conditional. If he do no nope. do if he does does excellent. If he does that again, his okay. father. Will punish. Will punish. punish. My God. Punish him. All right. Number 10. Um, Here it gives us the second part. So we need to we need to fill in the blanks. Will understand. I'm sorry? Will understand. Will understand. Yes. Will. Okay. Understand. Would. Why would? Because here it says he spoke. It is in past. He spoke. If he spoke, si él hablara lentamente, I would understand. Yo le entendería. Understand. Okay. Yeah. I would understand. Number 11. You would make a fortune, a fortune if you. I'm sorry. Two. Two. Took bingo. Two. Why took? Because we are in second condition. How do we know we are in second condition? Because in the sentence says would. Tú hicieras una fortuna si tomaras mi consejo. I'm not sure. Okay, if you want me to, I I will come. Excellent. I will come. Very good. Number 13. If he right right Right, perfect. We need to add S. If you wait, wait, wait for a moment. He, the waiter, will bring your coffee. Number fifteen. He will. He will lose weight if he has stopped eating too much, too much pupusas and too much hamburgers. Number 16, if I thought that about him, I would say, would say. Would say so. Excellent. Number 17, if he needed, if he needed help, I would give. Would give. I would give it. Number 18 and last one. If we.
Third condition, I guess it is. If we live at once, we? We will catch. We will catch. Okay. So we finish the practice of first and second condition. When do we use a first condition? When we are explaining or telling the result of our action in the present. Okay. And the result. And when do we use second conditional? Second conditional, it is used to tell hypothetical situation, unreal situation, something that is not true yet. Okay. Well, uh, I guess it would be run, but anyway, because I guess I'm missing the contraction. Ah, no, no, no. Look at it. We got 10. Very good. Excellent. Okay, my friend. So we did we finished this exercise. I left the link if you want to practice later in your home. Okay, something that I, that I want to tell you is to do the homework assignments, please. We are about to finish the unit number two, and we're gonna begin uh, unit number three next next Monday. class next Monday. Yeah. So please don't forget to do the the homework assignment. Also, it, if you have the chance to review all the tenses that we have been practicing, for example, simple present, simple past, conditionals, a superlative and comparative, present, continue, past, continue. If you have the chance to practice all the links or if you have the chance to practice using any website, do it, please. I'm gonna share with you a website where you can practice what it is. Um, hold on. Yeah, exactly. Here it is. I can give you this. I'm gonna share with you this website. You can practice a lot over there. Readings, listening, exercises, a lot, right? That is. I share, I, sh I left the link in the chat. You can practice with that link. Okay, now I need to take that attendance list. All right, let's start. Hernandez Sotelo. Present teacher. Maribel Ramos. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Alvarado de Benavides. Thank you. Ramos. Guerrero Molina. Present teacher. Present teacher. López González. Present teacher. Rugamas Melara. Present. Santana González. España Marroquín. Alvarado Mejía. Thank you. Present. León Rivera. Thank you. Present teacher. Castaneda Velasco. Present teacher. Romero Ayala. Present teacher. Hernández Rosibel. Present teacher. En Misandra Molina de García. Present. En Silvia Inés López de Cabrera. Present teacher. All right, let's stop right here with the class. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. God bless you and see you on Monday. Bye bye. Bye. See you. See you Monday. Yeah, take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Monday. God bless you and see you on Monday. See you on Monday.